Hey Libra, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Gonna do your next two weeks love reading. See what messages show up for you here. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you over to my website. Please keep in mind these messages are general. Some may or may not resonate with you. Don't try to make it fit. And uh, yeah, please do smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. All right, let's get into this. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Past position. Lots of communication, traveling, perhaps a trip, Cupid's arrows, falling in love very quickly. Um, things moving uh, along, things moved along very quickly in your life in the past. Okay, um, perhaps a lot of communication between you and, uh, it doesn't feel like one person, perhaps you and like a lot of different people. Okay, let's take a look here. Present energy. Okay, again, movement. Like, so you're passionate, you're on fire for something in your life at this time, perhaps another person. Um, you're a go-getter right now, Libra. You are, perhaps you're like head over heels for someone or you're lusting after someone or you're just feeling really like wild, a lot of wild energy. Definitely in go-getter mode with another person. It looks like perhaps you and somebody else, oops, came together. <clears throat> and things moved really quickly and it feels like the fire is still there libra fire is still there oh okay so perhaps a commitment or marriage something on the, along those lines is currently happening um two people kind of coming together here in, in a committed relationship now let's see what's driving okay some kind of sneak away looks like um you and another person currently sneaking away to be together and something turns into a committed relationship okay um it feels like two people who just kind of maybe eloped or just took off or just got together it looks like that's what's happening okay so this is a present energy there's there might be communication about this and it's going to start happening all right crowning yeah, look at this. Ace of Swords. Overcoming some kind of obstacles. You and another person. Truth. Victory. Success. Working through problems. Very positive. Current energy. And look, oh my gosh, you have the Ace of Cups. So you and another person having a brand new start in your life together. Libra. Beautiful. A blessing. There could be a pregnancy. Um, a wedding. Uh, something along those lines coming up in the next few weeks, the next couple of weeks at least. A brand new start. And your advice? Courage, strength, stay in your power. That is your advice going forward. Now the other person. All right, this person is going with you. <clears throat> They're going to make some kind of transition. They're making some kind of change when it comes to you. Another person here is 100% all in, I'm hearing. They're all in. They're all aboard. Um, they're either coming to get you or <laughs> you're going to them. Um, and they're picking you up. They're, so maybe with all this travel, there could be a distance between you and another person. But I feel like somebody here is making like they're facing coming out of their comfort zone they're facing their fears it's like yes we're gonna be together if you have a child or kids or anything like that it's a yes we're gonna be together so whoever this person is um it could be a leo could be a taurus um yeah whoever this person is you guys are like they're going with you wherever you wherever you go they're going wherever whatever path or direction you want to head in this person is doing they're on their they're gonna do it too okay so your intuition is really strong and there's a part of you that might be like well i hope my intuition's correct on this you might have a fear about it uh, maybe not trusting yourself in regards to this whole 
getting together with someone, but I, I feel like it's real. I feel like it's a good thing. Um, I feel like you and another person are just on fire for each other. Look, this is the recovery, rest, healing after some kind of breakup. Um, feeling very strong. Your advice here is to just be patient or at least relax. Or if you're with another person somewhere, if you guys are traveling or something, it feels like enjoy this trip. Enjoy this this journey that you're both on together because it feels extremely positive okay you have the two of swords is compromise in the outcome so <clears throat> yep whatever was whatever's ended it's surrendering i feel like mostly the person that you're connecting with here that you're dealing with the sun's coming back out that's what i'm hearing the sun's coming back out this person's willing to compromise to make changes i feel that real strongly from this person um there might have been some issues between the two of you there might have been something that happened before where there might have maybe some deception or some some lies or something like that might have happened there might have been like a devil energy connected to the relationship but it feels to me with the ace of swords that you guys are like the, there's clarity and i feel like you guys are cutting through all the bs and dealing with that devil energy uh, and overcoming some major hurdles and obstacles it feels very positive let me see what's at the bottom of the deck wow okay yeah something's over and there's a new beginning happening here with you and your person could be a capricorn we could have a pisces uh there could be um a scorpio involved but whatever the situation is out with the old in with the new <clears throat> as far as an energy goes right the old energy is done with it's done you guys are moving forward very beautifully right and there's a lot of reciprocity and giving and sharing so the next couple of weeks look amazing there could be an engagement and or a proposal that turns into something very long term like could be a happily ever after whatever the case it looks good libra okay so wow you have vulnerability you can be completely open with this person libra this is nice this is very positive energy okay yep patience everything will unfold in divine timing is your message and you also have go slow, taking the time to get to know each other, right? Because you two, I feel like you and another person are coming out of some very chaotic energy and you're going into a very positive, calming, peaceful place. And as you go forth together in your lives, um, learning about each other on the daily, learning more and more about each other is very necessary. Um, yeah, an acceptance. I feel like whatever you and your person dealt with, whatever the problems were, whatever you guys went through in the past, um, it all brought you to this situation that you're in, this positive situation that you're in now. Everything happens for a reason. And I feel like you and your person, whatever you went through, um, or I want to say whatever bumps, speed bumps, you, you both overcame them i don't feel like it was all that easy but i feel like all of that was meant to occur let's see what other message you have here okay you have the queen of wands so this is fire energy someone you're connecting with is brilliant talented independent a bit controlling they are they're a force to be reckoned with i heard but there's also a message here for both of you there's nothing that you both can't do believe in yourselves never underestimate your ability make your dreams come true there is a need for balance between career and personal life let's see here other message and you also have the moon listen to your intuition pay attention to signs from the divine unnecessary worry might be of it might be happening here let go of your fears revelations will make everything clear and you also have the two of swords being unable or unwilling to make a decision 
okay? I feel like that might have been something that was going on, but follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Uh, don't pretend that there aren't any problems. Continuously overcome obstacles with positivity and faith. If you have to overanalyze the situation. Now, this card, I will say this, right? With this particular card, Two of Swords is about trusting the intuition to make a decision and being willing to compromise on certain things. It's not being really unable and unwilling to make a decision. It's basically like taking the time to think it through first, you know, or if even if you're asking for advice from other people, you can absorb the things that they say, but ultimately you have to be the one to make the decision, right? So whatever your, any challenges that you're going through at this time, Libra, I feel it's like all positive. I feel like, um, <clears throat> Because the Ten of Swords was there, there might have been some kind of betrayal or something that might have happened to someone here in this reading. But this Two of Swords makes makes me feel like, you know, yeah, that happened. Um, but I can recover <clears throat> and I can move forward with my life with my person. And we can make this relationship great. We can. And it feels like someone here, whether it's you or the other person or both of you, are both willing to come out of these very chaotic uh, energies and get into a much more peaceful place. It feels, so when I say like a more peaceful place, it's just a sense of assurance, you know, or, or reassurance that you both have each other's backs, that you're both there for each other. I let's see the Chinese signs. So we have year of the dog, year of the horse. This could be you or your person, year of the rabbit year of the snake year of the rat tiger an ox and a year of the pig okay so that could be you your person both of you none of you either one it's still your message okay anything else that libra needs to know as we go forward here in cosmic insights Okay, caution, find out more information, don't overwork yourself, okay? And that's related to your decision for both of you. Don't go down rabbit holes, conjuring up ideas and things any with anything to do in your life. Um, make, find out more, gather evidence so you can make a decision about. I don't know what this has to do with because I feel like it's a very positive energy and I feel like you've got someone here by your side, but I feel like you might be a little bit hesitant to something might show like come up where you might question some things. But I feel like um, if that's the case and you need to, you know, reach that next plateau to make a decision here, um, make sure it's what you want. Make sure that this is going to work for you. Okay and communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. That's really what this is all about. Again, that's a two of swords, compromise, forgive, work it out. So yeah, something might come up, but I'm not seeing anything major. I feel like it might be just doubt. You just might have some doubt, um, but communicate with your person about whatever your doubt might be and give them an opportunity to um, set it straight for you. Oh, wow, beautiful. Okay, let me show you your, your charm here. So you do have a cross, and this actually has Jesus on it. So somebody might be Catholic or Christian. I don't think the Christian cross has Jesus on it. It's more of Catholic. So somebody might be Catholic. This might be playing a role, uh, this religion, in your your faith or in your, your relationship here, um, to whatever extent your relationship is. And you also have <laughs> a T-Rex. You have a, like a dinosaur of some sort. I feel like that's T-Rex, really short arms. So something to do with it. Maybe there's a religious <laughs> um, disagreement. It could be like one person doesn't believe. It's something to do with the dinosaurs. Um, I know like, you know, there's nothing in the Bible about the dinosaurs. Not that I know of. I'm not a, a zealot or anything. But there might be something that comes up. Um, if there's going to be a marriage, one person might be religious, one person be, might be a non-believer, and there might be like some kind of issue going on here about uh, a holy wedding or something along those lines. And I think we're going to leave it there. I think we're going to leave it there. 
okay libra so i hope that gives you some insight and made any sense to you i'll be back here in a couple of weeks to finish off and do your next reading have a great two weeks i will see you very soon bye you said i was the only one no one likes being like two you made this mess and left me with the peace